If Conor McGregor was to be number 14 and 15 right now and he was placed in the top five, y'all niggas would be mad. Don't lie, you niggas would be mad. Alright YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Jamie May here, man. I'm back with another one. Oh shit. Today, man, we're gonna be talking about DC and his commentary, man. DC. Oh, uh, hold on. Before I even say what I gotta say about DC, man, if y'all haven't already, man, please sub up, man. Join the family. Join the gang, man. Roll to 1.1k, man. Make sure y'all turn on those post notifications as well. You don't miss nothing that I post, I upload, stream, whatever. Hey, make sure you don't miss it. But anyway, man, we're gonna be talking about DC and you know j just his antics uh, on the latest UFC UFC 267. So for starters, uh, I'm gonna bring up well three points, two points. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna just be talking off the dome. DC, I don't want to hear DC commentate another. Uh, if it's his teammate Russian, I don't care. I don't want DC commentate none of Islam's fights anymore. None of his teammates. I don't want DC commentate no more, bro. Cause he's overly biased. Overly biased. The the Yan fight really, cause I, I really didn't see how biased he was until Yan fought Izzy. And I recently watched that fight back with commentary on. I usually don't watch fights with commentary for that exact reason, so I don't have to hit the fucking bias shit. I just want to watch the fight and you know, score it on my own. But you know, my dumb ass say, you know, it's UFC 267. Why not watch the fights with no fucking comment? Well, you know, why not? Why, why not? Why? You know, hear, hear the reaction it gives me a more fun experience. You know, Haas Bull is there. It's a fun time. Yeah, I wish I would have kept the fucking commentary of DC. Get the fuck out the booth, bro. Listen, I understand Islam and some of them other Russian cats on that car was your teammates and you've trained with them, you wrestled them, coached them, all that good shit, man. I understand that. But you have a job to do and your job is to commentate. Commentate is supposed to keep it a level playing field, man. 50-50, man. Like, come on, bro. You, you shouldn't be doing that shit, shit like that. When Joe, when Joe, when Brendan Schwab was fighting, you didn't hear Joe Rogan coming on and oh, he was, he, he, you know, he was talking good about Brendan Schwab while talking good about his opponent as well. It's like DC was just giving backhanded compliments to niggas. For, for point example, I'm putting this tweet on the screen. He talks about how Islam should be, you know, he should be fighting for the title next, and it doesn't matter who fights, who fights DC. He needs to get this guy on a car, and that's very disrespectful to Michael Chandler and Justin Gaethje. Cause who the fuck has Islam fought? Let's be really honest. Islam should not be top 10. Sorry. I don't get yes, he beat Dan Hooker, which is great. Now he deserves to be tied. He beat I mean he beat the top six opponent. Yes. But before he shouldn't have even got the Dan Hooker fight, if I'm being he shouldn't have even got the RDA fight, if I'm being quite honest. Being num beating number 15 and 14 does not grant you top five. And you can say I'm hating or whatever. That's not hating, that's just facts. If this was any if Conor McGregor was to be number 14 and 15 right now and he was placed in the top five, y'all niggas would be mad. Don't lie, you niggas would be mad. Uh, uh, stop the cap. You niggas would be mad. So if Islam, so yeah, you should be mad at Islam too, nigga. Yeah, you should. But anyway, now that's neat to hear that. Then just to gauge your response, um, talking about you know that's very disrespectful to justin gaethje i which i understand i'm not gonna as well that's disrespectful as fuck for dc to say some shit like that i think islam needs two more fights but then justin gaethje responds you know suck it because that's what he was doing he was sucking he was sucking him off he was you know what i'm saying no, no, november he already broken and it and, and it is october 30th he already fell on no, no, november you know what i'm saying he he going crazy and then DC comes back. Oh, you know, I, I was playing Justin. I was just trying to say that he shouldn't jump you guys. And, you know, you can fight Islam. I'm not going to fight you. And, oh, yeah. Really? And Justin Gates is like, bro, shut the fuck up. I wasn't going to say nothing until you said something. DC always likes to, hold on. I didn't say anything, guys. I'm DC. I am commentator. The whole thing is this and that. You, you can't criticize me. I can criticize you, though. Like, I, I don't want DC commentating anymore. I'm sorry. I, DC's, I don't like DC as, I don't like DC as a commentator. I'm sorry. I don't. The Yan and Izzy fight overly biased. And this last, these last, uh, this last card was overly biased. If he's commentating UFC 268, I'm not, I'm turning off commentary. I don't want to hear him fucking commentating no more fights. On the fucking prelims, one of the Russian dudes was fighting. 
the nigga, the Russian was getting his ass whipped. And DC's talking about, oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, bro. Shut the fuck up, DC, bro. I don't want DC commentating no more. I don't. I, I think the, the best commentating duo that I, that I enjoy, and it seems like other people enjoy when I do have commentary on, is Paul Felder, Bisping, and Anik. That's what I draw on. Uh, uh, Anik, uh, Bisping, and, and Cruz. I enjoy that, that, that combo right there or brenda fitzgerald i like brenda fitzgerald too i i, I know i watched the I, I heard him on the contender series a few times so i like him as well but dc no i don't want to hear dc and joe rogan he's on tour with dave chappelle so i don't even think he's gonna be commenting you see the ufc 268 i don't want dc as a commentator no more bro i'm i'm tired of the bias i'm sorry i'm tired of the bias man i'm tired of it bro tired of it sorry i am and going back to islam while we on it let's talk about fucking islam too like I said, if Conor McGregor right now was to beat number 14 and number 15, and he was get he was to you know move up into the top five, top four, you niggas will be angry right now, furious on Twitter. And I ain't seeing that same shit for Islam. You know why? Cause nigga niggas play favoritism. I don't play favoritism. I don't give a fuck me. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I don't play listen, Tony Ferguson is my favorite fighter, in my opinion. Tony Ferguson. He's ranked what six set no he's not ranked six. he's like ranked seven by eight he's ranked something like that i think tony should be like 10. huh no nah, i'm lying he should be ranked in, all right I'm, I'm lying he should be ranked in that same spot but i thought i think tony ferguson should retire he's my favorite fight tony ferguson needs to go bro he should not be fighting anymore that's just me i love the dude should not be fighting anymore but be honest Right now, tell me what a straight face could be fans, counter fans, whatever. If Conor McGregor beats number 14, the current number 14 ranked lightweight, and the current number 15 ranked lightweight, and he gets placed in the top three, top four, tell me you wouldn't be mad. Tell me right now with a straight face, you wouldn't be mad. You would, because it's unfair. Same thing with Islam. Islam hasn't, he's beaten one top six opponent, and now the niggas probably gonna be ranked in the top four, top three now. I uh, hate to see it. If Michael Chandler loses, Islam is going to be top three. Uh, so sad to say it, he's going to be top three. He's going he's gonna to wind up fighting Islam or RDA. He's probably going to... I don't know. I, I would like to see him against Islam. I mean, I would like to see Islam against RDA more. But RDA can be taken down. So can uh, Benil Darius. But they both have great takedown defense. Even though they can be taken down. And it, I, it's not a sense of, oh my goodness, that takedown defense is trash. Nah, it's just a sense of Islam is that good of a wrestler. I'm not trying to sit and shit on Islam because he is a great fighter, but he's getting pushed way too fast. Way too fast. You saw what happened with one motherfucking Darren too when he got pushed way too fast. Just saying, you know, but let me know down below in the comments what y'all think, man. Should it, should DC not commentate anymore? Should Islam even be in the top 10? Y'all let me know, man. It's been your boy, Jamie, man, man. Peace, love, and prosperity, man. Love every single one of y'all, man. If you haven't already, man, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later, man. Do something productive with your day. It's no note, it's no nut November. So remember, beating your meat is not productive. It's not productive, my guy. See y'all next time, man. It's your boy, Jamie, me. And I'm out, man. Peace.